Hi Gemini, it's Abby. Welcome to your video. This is going to be a general reading for the Gemini Collective, looking at whatever it is that you need to know right now. I'm asking for the most relevant information for the Geminis who are most likely to find this video. You could be Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Jupiter, whatever. You could be cross-watching. Everyone's welcome. Okay. Um, just remember, readings can resonate for more than one person, but it's impossible for them to resonate for everybody. So just keep that in mind as we go through. I will also pull an oracle card for you at the end. This is this channel is Rogue Goddess Tarot, so I read for all the signs on here. If you happen to have a Pisces placement that you want to dig into, I have a Pisces exclusive channel that's linked down below. So feel free to come check that out if you wish. I'm also going to... Um, I already mentioned oracles. Ah, ooh, okay. No. Let's leave that there. Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so first off, bunch of arcanas, right? Bunch of major arcanas. You have one, two, three, four, five. Which is like half the spread <laughs> for you right now, okay? So this is something that's a larger, it's a big deal, okay? Whatever the situation is for the Geminis that this is going to ring for, it's a pretty big deal. Um, the situation itself is one where you are having to have a lot of restraint. There is with the strength card. I mean, there's a lot of dignity attached to it as well. You're being as high class as you can in the situation. Um, but it feels like you have spent a lot of time wrestling with something in particular. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. This could be dealing with someone who is far away from you or at a distance from you. Someone who travels a lot or someone who's from a foreign country. Um, this could with, I wouldn't be surprised, bunch of threes. Yeah, okay. For others, this could have to do with like um, a work conflict. Okay. With the three of pentacles, someone or something that you're trying to collaborate with or harmonize with or or make better here, okay? But there's like a, someone in the situation is trying really hard to come out on top of everybody else. There's a, a an ability to expand and for things to go further. Um, but it's, it's like it's being held back by this Five of Swords energy here. We'll also get into, there's some other stuff in here. Um, these general readings, I don't tend to set the tone of whether it is a love reading or a work reading or a family reading, okay? Um, I wait as it evolves. Sometimes it becomes a love reading, but I definitely do not start out like that. So, um, don't worry if that's not what you want to hear about. I will try and see it from a different, couple different directions, okay? Um, what you want to arise at, like the best that things could be in the situation, we have Taurus energy with the Empress. So this feels like, you know, you want things to be calm. You want to be at ease. Um, the Empress is someone who is really sunk into their self-esteem, their attractiveness, their fertility, their creativity. Um, and they don't really, they don't really suffer fools. Yeah. They don't really suffer fools. Whether you're, you're male, female, or otherwise, anybody can get into Empress energy, right? Where we're in that sort of like good, juicy, happy sort of feeling about ourselves. Yeah, it's like, okay, so Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This feels like if giving is involved, it's to be fair and equal. It's for things to come, but with no... No one holding anything over anybody's head. This feels like everybody putting in the same amount of effort um, that they would want to receive, right? Um, the Empress, like the Nine of Pentacles is also the Empress in waiting, sort of. This is the Empress of the Minor Arcana. So this is like in your day-to-day -day life, feeling good, feeling on top of your money, on top of your physical health, on top of your um, the way that you're presenting yourself, moving through the world, all of that feeling very good, okay? And feeling like attractive <laughs> and ready to get out and meet people and or ready to start things, right? With the Ace of Wands, ready to make things, have things happen. 
Um, for some of you with the Ace of Wands and the Empress, it could be that you're even um, hoping to start a family, okay? It can be there sometimes as well. Um, so we have something in your past that caused you to get here. Like, well, how it's kind of the, how did this happen um, of the spread? We have the Four of Wands. So this is like someone having to take a rest after a tough time. Someone went through like a literal battle and had to heal a lot of things within themselves. And then there was a, a period of time where they needed to take a time out and rest and um, recover, okay? So for some of you, you could have been through a literal physical or mental recovery that is kind of like how you found yourself in this situation. Um, let's see. Okay, so you got the fool. There could have been someone maybe an Aries or Aquarius person with the fool. Um, someone who was, this could be yourself or someone else, right? Someone was in fool mode, let's say, okay? So someone was in fool mode. They were traveling really light. They didn't really want to um, stick around in any, like starting new things and maybe taking leaps of faith. But the, the fool is an energy of a person who, um, doesn't necessarily want to settle down right away. Like they want to keep exploring. They want to try new things. They want to jump into new things. Some of you could have taken a leap of faith, something that was really planned out. Okay. I'm interested, intrigued with the progression here, how you have the two of wands, three of wands, and then the four of swords. So this feels very much like the planning and like the successes that you had when you took this leap of faith caused you to go and expand something outside of yourself. Um, for some of you, this could have led to, um, it could, it feels like a positive outcome after all, but there also perhaps being some maybe overwhelm I'm seeing here, okay? Sorry, I just paused to uh, turn off my radiator. <laughs> it was hissing in my ear over here. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, they're not all the cards aren't on the screen. So I just rearranged them here. Okay, so the thing that's helping you, that's aiding you in this situation, is four of pentacles. So there's a sense of stability, okay? So it could be that there is something, especially in your physical world. Um, even if you're kind of like wrestling with what to do here, or you've been having to sort of tamp down and work with things, there is still a sense of stability. So it could be that even though there are some conflicts or some things that have been difficult for you, that you are working your way through in a very, I feel like you're, you're really doing well in whatever this is. People are, if they were to observe you from the outside, they see you as doing very well and re representing yourself well and staying classy and true to yourself and all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, what's aiding you is the stability of the situation. So for things like love, that could be like your emotional stability, like the status quo is being upheld, right? You have maybe your love life to fall back on, a partner to fall back on, like that kind of supporter energy. It could be family that's giving that to you as well. Um, for others, it could be things like, you know, the money is good, the benefits are good. Um, there's, there's something here that is, you're holding on to the right stuff, I feel like. Okay, page of wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah. For some of you, you could have like a fire sign child or like a sort of impulsive, fiery, very sparky kind of kid or a person who's involved in this who's like a support person to you. Queen of Swords, I feel, could also be yourself here, Gemini. Um, just looking at things with a really cool head, warrior queen, right? You're okay to transform things. Um, the butterflies that represent transformation are on her crown. So they surround her head. So this shows me someone who is willing to change their point of view. They're like, I'm willing to think about it in a different way. I'm, I'm willing to um, take in new information and change my opinion so long as it makes sense, right? It's that kind of energy. That is really nice to see. With the Ten of Cups, um, I feel like this stability that you have could very well involve things like family or social supports, um, hope that you carry, right? That you're just like eternally a hopeful kind of person. 
So yeah, it feels like you can really rely on those things. What's holding you back in this situation right now, Gemini, is the 10 of wands. So that shows me someone who is taking on way too much. Now you're about to complete something, but there's also a sense of overwork, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember how up in here in the sort of the, the way that you wanted to like your your ultimate outcome in this and the Empress, we have the Ace of Wands show up. The Ten of Wands is a card of completion. Tens are beginnings and endings, right? So it's the ending that leads us to our new beginning. There could be something about accepting the um, the closure of a, a particular job or project, responsibilities, things like that. You might you might be holding on kind of tight to some of those and not really wanting to let them go. Um, you might be um, tempted to maybe say you're a freelancer and you've taken pro projects with a particular client. It's kind of a struggle, um, but you feel like they're a solid client and they keep coming back, even though you don't really want to work with them anymore, right? But you're like, I'm about to finish this, you know, and you're trying to figure out whether or not you're going to take any more jobs with them. It could be that it's too burdensome and you might not be wanting to do that, but it feels like, but it's guaranteed, right? That kind of energy, right? Um, just taking on too much. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's just argument. <laughs> the five, the six, and the queen. So what isn't helping you right now is um, any kind of self-deception, anybody in your energy who is stalling progress, who isn't allowing, and I'm saying anyone in your energy. So this could be people who are in your life, people that you interact with on the daily, or it can be things that we're doing inside of ourselves, right? You have the five of swords and the six of swords. So it's sort of like escaping a bad situation. And with the queen of pentacles, there's, but there's stability attached to it. Hmm. So this feels like if, if it's in work, for some of you, it's like it's the kind of work where you never really know whether or not you're doing a good job. Everyone's kind of out for themselves in a weird way, even the people who get to like each other and get to know each other. And there's a sense of wanting to mentally move on from it. But then there's also a bit of an anchored energy of like, well, we stay with this because it pays the bills. Um For others in areas of relationships or love, this could be that there is one person who really tries to force themselves into the spotlight. Isn't really concerned about the way that other people, like through their actions, right? Their words may not portray what their actions are showing you. Or it's a challenge that you kind of want to get away from. They put themselves first rather than the situation of the whole family or the whole relationship. For some, you could also have, if this is a love or relationship, it just popped into my head that there could be something you're carrying that has to do with a mother from a previous relationship. Okay, interesting. I don't know if it's a mother-in-law or someone's previous partner, but it's something like that. Okay. Um, what you have in your past that's here to help you, we have Queen of Cups. All right, so this would be telling me, Gemini, um, you could have a person like a water sign type person or someone who has Queen of Cups qualities. This is someone who's like compassionate, friendly, cares about the people around them. Um, so this could be like an old friend or a confidant that you have that who's of some kind of importance in this and can offer you support, okay? Um, for some, it's a counselor or someone in healing. Um, they, they do healing of some kind. If they're not a nurse, I don't know, they could do Reiki. They could be a therapist, something like that. There could be lessons that you learned from this person in the past that you were like, yeah, when I was reading those self-help books, it was really helpful to me. Like that person's outlook really helped, you know, I was really in a better place when I was using those things, right? When I was tapping into them. 
For others, this is stuff like your creativity, right? Your your own compassion. Maybe you were able in the past to be more compassionate with yourself and you were able to tap into your feelings on things a little bit better. And the cards are just trying to remind you that that still exists for you, okay? Okay. This could be somebody who also does a lot of work um, if this is a person from your past who can support you right now, it's someone who has done work with people who um, could be facing tough times in some kind of way. They might like to help people financially figure their way out of like confusion, stuff like that. Gemini, mostly I see this as you. Your instincts and your intuitions were, it was easier at another time to pull that into your actual life, right? And to focus it into your own wealth and abundance so that you could deal with any sort of setbacks that you had. So it's just a reminder that that version of you is still there. An opportunity that you have coming up in the near future, we have the seven of pentacles, okay, which is very nice to see. So this feels like you'll have an opportunity to see the payoff of whatever it is that you've been working on. Um, and maybe something that's been in the works for quite some time, something ripens and it comes to fruition and we're able to start to see like the fruits of our labor, the work and the stuff that we've put into it start to pay off. So this feels really, really nice. Um, there can be a little bit of watch pot never boils kind of energy that's going on here. But if it's an opportunity, then that means that it's, something that you've waited a long time for actually coming through. Yeah, emperor for some, yeah, and then fast. And then see, yes, okay, so we have Aries energy and then sort of like Gemini, Aquarius. Um, maybe the magician is a few different signs for me. Ah, with the emperor and the eight of wands. Okay, I really like this. So this feels like there could be a boss or an authority figure of some kind. This could also be you taking the lead in something. Um, something starts to come through. I think you realize what it is that you have to work with and you start to make some big moves on it and things start to move quickly. There's some communications that you put into play and that starts to come through. And then with the magician, you're using, you have the opportunity at least. The magician tells us it's up to us. We have everything that we need to do what we wanna do. We can make it a reality. It's on our table, it's within our reach, it's at our fingertips. The question becomes whether or not we're actually gonna do it right. So that is your opportunity that's coming up in the near future. I really like this. I really like this. And the eternity symbol over the magician's head reminds us that we always have this power within us, right? Gemini, you can manifest incredibly powerfully when you are um, open to all the different ways that you can do it, okay? Um, even if, say, the first, the, the ultimate thing that you want to achieve might not be, like, easy to grab right at this moment, there could be some other ways that you will create pathways by pivoting to other things that are accomplishable, okay? Um, which is kind of what I'm getting from this. Your perspective on the situation, we have the devil card, which makes me feel like the there is a little bit of a sense of being trapped, okay? Now, I am encouraged. It is a little like, we're going to have to address this, Gemini, but like the, the situation itself is more the strength card, right? It's more about like, yes, you're, may, you might be wrestling down demons. Yes, you know, your own personal demons, bad habits, things that you're doing, wrestling with, you know, difficult personalities or your own ego or whatever it is, and you've been keeping a level head. You might be thinking of it in more of a devil energy where you're like, I'm trapped. <laughs> this is never going to end, <laughs> right? Like, this is just what is going on and someone else is pulling the strings and I'm at the whims of the universe. Um, but I feel like the situation itself isn't lining up with that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this might, you might require a perspective shift. Yeah. Let's see. What, give me some more information on the devil. Okay. So 
Um, you have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is Capricorn, the devil. So for some of you, this could be coming from a boss or authority figure. This could also be coming in like the form of emails you're getting from corporate or, you know, messages you're getting from religion, tradition, the way that things have always been done around you. Okay. The Hierophant is a card that symbolizes a lot of that. So it feels like that's maybe, it could be even spirituality with the Hierophant. So there could be some people like sometimes this can, the Hierophant can represent like a guru. So it's like somebody who believes they have all the answers. There could be someone that you're listening to. Um, if you're into spirituality, I mean, you're on tarot, you're on tarot YouTube. So who knows, but it could be someone that's like putting some thoughts in your head that are like making you feel like you're more trapped than you actually are. Okay. So I would just say like, whether it's inside of you, outside of you, cultural influences, um, religious influences, spiritual influences, new age, spiritual influences, bosses, whatever, something is trying is making you feel like you're more stuck than you are. And it's making it feel like they have all the answers and they are the authority and they get to tell you what to do. Nah, not so. Not so for you, Gemini. Um, you're being sort of like you've had to defend yourself in some ways. I feel like you've had to defend your ideas or your actions. And so it's led to the, a little bit of a, a feeling of dissatisfaction, right? Where even when things start to be offered to you and they're good things, it's hard to feel excited about them, okay? For some, it could be things like even, you know, it could, the devil can be addictions. It can be all kinds of things like that. Um, but I feel like you're handling, like you have this amazing outcome here with the judgment card. So I'm not terribly worried about that. But the closest people to you and how people see you, we have the lover's card. So uh, the people who are around you right now, you are being what you need to know about about what, what's happening around you and the people around you in your closest relationships with the lover's card it can of course symbolize um very heartfelt soulmate connections absolutely but it's also a card that talks about our choices and our morality um the things that we value the most making the best choices for ourselves trying to find an in-between to come to okay you might be seeing some of the people around you in a way now where they they need to make the best most moral choice for themselves and they might be in that situation for whatever kind of reason um choices needing to be made maybe virgos yeah hermit with the nine of swords this makes me feel like something or someone outside of you there's this real sense of like self-isolation and feeling just like they just wake up and everything's the same and they wake up and everything's the same but there are choices for them to make here hmm what i want to say to that is like Nothing changes if nothing changes, right? So if we're doing the same things all the time and getting the same results, something has to change if we want things to change. We can't just keep going through the same motions and expecting something to magically be different. And that's true for the other people around you as well, right? Someone could have presented themselves to you with a lot of wisdom also, but they're actually operating from pain, a place of a lot of pain and confusion. Hmm. So you need, apparently you need to know about that for some reason. Uh, and your emotions as you're moving into the future, we have the two of swords. Okay. So this is just feeling like you're at a sort of, a crossroads, a stalemate, right? Um, feeling like you're, you just don't have enough information to make the right decision. So let's see. Ah, okay. So with the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Justice card. 
okay, you have an opportunity here. It feels like there's something, I mean, this pentacle, this ace of pentacles is, is landed at this person's feet here. And he's considering the six pentacles that are still on the vine. And you have the other six pentacles here. Okay. Just pointing that stuff out. So this feels like it, you get into the future, things are going and emotionally you feel like at a stalemate and it feels like this opportunity presents itself to you and you are having a lot of trouble figuring out whether or not you want to actually take it. Remember the laws of the laws of of the rule of law. Okay, that is going to be important for some of you. The justice law, um, doing things properly, is going to be important in this. So do the best, most moral, above board, legal thing that you can do in the situation if that comes into it or comes into play in any reason. The other thing I feel like the justice card is trying to tell you is that cause and effect. Right? Is like. If you sit on this bench and you don't make any choices and you don't you, you make the choice not to choose, that is also a choice, right? And so the opportunities that are coming here, they won't be allowed a place for fruition. So the cause and effect is what caught like A causes B, right? You blow on something, it moves. <laughs> if you never blow, it never moves, right? So I feel like you might have struggled with that a little bit in the future, okay? When this opportunity presents itself, which is probably linked from seeing, seeing this situation as more of a devil energy than as just like strength, as you, you gaining your strength, right? You don't have to lose yourself to it. In your outcome, we have judgment card, which is beautiful, Gemini. I really love this for you. So this feels like you're coming into a new phase of life you're feeling the call of something everyone is able to like wake up and get into a new get a wake-up call of some kind it's like it's time to come live your life for real right you it's you have all these major arcanas and it feels like this is a big turnaround for you okay i think it's the cards are asking you to remember to be kind to yourself to think of the work that you've done to take opportunities when they're presented to you and it will feel like you kind of come up from underwater and take a deep breath. Ah, and it feels like, oh my God, what was I doing before, right? Like I didn't perceive the ways in which I was trapping myself, right? They're coming out of coffins. I didn't perceive the ways that perhaps you were um, keeping yourself in old and outdated situations. Yeah, see sevens and sevens and sevens. Okay, so to clarify, we had the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Put yourself in, like, don't allow anything that is untrue or, or dishonest to prevail, okay? So if that has to do with your own actions, other people's actions, um, confusion and delusion and you know, being uncertain and all that kind of stuff, don't allow any of that to prevail anymore, okay? The knowledge that you need to know is at the center of this wheel. We take, we can either kind of hang out on the outside of the wheel where we're like bumping along and at the whims of the universe, or we can put ourselves at the center and we can, you know, decide that we are, we are in charge and that we're seeing things outside of us and we can actively choose how close we get to the stuff that's happening around us. Um, how much you involve yourself in things that you feel like could be good for you, bad for you, right? We have all kinds of things that are going on on this card. So I feel like you're being asked to put yourself in the center and drive that wheel yourself. I'm going to give you a animal spirit oracle card just to close out. I hope this is helpful to you in some way, Gemini. I just want to get a last little piece of guidance for those of you who thought this reading was for you. Can I please have a card, preferably one card, but with a message that the Geminis who found this message need to see or hear to have their best outcome in this situation? What do they need to see or hear? What do they need to see or hear to have their best possible outcome?
that spirit, saying rebirth is assured. Number five, I like this actually. The judgment card is a card of rebirth, which is really cool. Let's take a look at what it says. Fives are challenges, but they're also turnarounds, right? The Oracle message says, after something has run its course and died or been released, finished, surrendered, completed, or ended, there is a promise of a new beginning. Rebirth is assured just as night gives way to dawn and the bat emerges from the darkness of a womb-like cave. Bat spirit has come to remind you that this rebirth is a miraculous one. For the very best elements of what you have to give up in the death of the old are still present in this new amazing life forming now. This is the miracle and magic of rebirth in every aspect of your life, including the rebirth of faith and your ability to establish new and healthy relationships. That spirit reminds you that you are at present. You are, you are at present. You are in unknown territory and you may feel as if you are lost. However, you are called to trust that your intuition will be a reliable guide as you give birth to something new and unfamiliar. Bad spirit has listened in the darkness of night and has heard all your hopes and dreams, your fears and worries, and assures you that this new version of your dream, this move from darkness into the light, is from the lost to found and from death to rebirth, comes to fruition with love at its core. Bad spirit asks you to trust that what seems to have died is actually shape-shifting into something even more meaningful and wondrous than before. If you feel you are in the dark, know that come morning all will be revealed and things will be in a new form that is right for you. I feel like that's just chock full of confirmations with stuff that has come out, okay? Rebirth here, Gemini. Okay, that's what I got for you this time. If you want to watch your other signs and placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, have at it. Have a good time. I'm going to be doing a series of money and career readings for all of the signs after this. So if you want to be able to find me again, make sure that you're subscribed. If you want to support the channel, like the video, um, leave a comment down below, all that. I hope I see you again, Gemini. Uh, take care of yourself. Bye now.